Hello everybody, it's Tim here again, finally with another video, it's been a long ass time, it's really dark around here in case you're wondering where I'm at, I'm actually outside because everybody's asleep in the house right now, so I figured, you know, why not walk out on the porch and just do this review, the hell with it, um, i actually done this review already once before, so if I don't seem very enthusiastic doing this review now, it's only because I've already done this review once before, and I'm really friggin' killed out. After already having done it once before and then losing the copy of it I had that I was going to upload and now having to do this shit all over again. But anyway, the movie is the Adam West Batman movie that came out in, I believe, 1966. I could be wrong. But uh, as far as Adam West and Burt Ward as Batman and Robin, and I think they're really good as Batman and Robin. I'm going to try to make this review short because it's the last Batman review I have. And also because I've already done this review once and... It just is really aggravating to have to go back into the same shit I've already talked about once before in another video. Um, but, yeah, it stars them in here. Uh, Adam West and Burt Ward, who I think Adam West is great in this. He's hilarious. I love him. This movie is much better comedy-wise than Batman and Robin, which all Batman and Robin is is pretty much ice jokes. Just ice jokes over and over nonstop. This movie is much better than that. Um, Adam West is really funny in this. Um, Susie Romero as the Joker. The Joker in this is actually like the most lighthearted Joker I've seen out of the movies, though. And even the actor, his mustache isn't even shaved off, and you can plainly see it through the makeup. But he does good as like a uh, goofy prankster type Joker for kids. I mean, he does good for that, and I like him for that. But compared to the other Jokers, though, he, he is the weakest in my opinion. Um, even, I mean, I mean, I know it's for like what he was made for. I know this is like a children's TV show and stuff. And for what it is, being the campy Batman, it's really fun. But just the Joker, though, I prefer the more brutal Jokers, uh, in, in my opinion. But I still like the campy Jokers. But, um, like for me, like campy Jokers, I like the Joker from Batman Brave and the Bold, the animated show. I think that campy Joker is better than, than this Cesar Romero version. But, um, but, uh, the Riddler, though, Frank Gorshin, I like him the best, though. I thought he did the best job. And I also really like, uh, I believe it's uh, Burgess Meredith, I think is how you say his name. I think that's the actor's name who plays the penguin. I like this penguin as well. I like his look and everything. Um, the woman that plays Catwoman, I believe it's Julia Newmar in this movie. And I believe it was actually, a, I think it's Julia Newmar in this movie. She's really hot. Um, great Catwoman. Um, but uh, yeah, the movie's really funny. There's a lot of hilarious jokes in here. Like how Batman and Robin can just like slide down a pole and their outfits automatically change from their regular everyday outfits to their crime fighting outfits. <coughs> I love that. Um, and how they have like an actual like phone where they can like, I mean how they have a phone where they can like call straight to like the commissioner of the police and he picks up like a red phone that's specifically reserved for calls from Batman and Robin. I love that. Uh, it's hilarious. Uh, some stupid jokes in the movie though. Stuff that's really weakly done is like when Batman and Robin are like out in the middle of the ocean, and they're like, um, there's like some super magnet they're attached to or whatever, and they can't get out uh, from these torpedoes flying at them, and then the scene skips, and you find out they got away because some porpoises or dolphins, I mean, or whatever, threw themselves in the way of the um, torpedoes. Stupid shit like that. That's kind of stupid. But everybody who's seen this movie remembers the greatest scene in this movie, in my opinion, which is the scene with the where Adam West is running around with that bomb. You know, he's just wanting to throw it away, and he can't get rid of it. And he's, like, looking down there in the water, and there's, like, a bunch of ducks. And he <laughs> he's like, some days you just can't get rid of a bomb. Bam. That's comedy gold right there. If Batman and Robin would have been this good, I still would have liked Batman and Robin. But as a campy comedy Batman movie. But as Batman and Robin is, the comedy in it is pure dog shit. And there's no seriousness in it, so the movie just winds up being like a total piece of horse crap. Um, but yeah, but for as far as this movie goes, I'll just go ahead and give my star rating. It's a three-star film out of four. It's a good movie. I think this is a good movie. It's held back, though, just a little bit from making like the character of Batman a little bit too stupid for me. Like, he can't recognize that, obviously, Catwoman and Miss Kitka, who she's posing as, is obviously the same person, you know, when Catwoman goes into her, like... And to her, I mean, when like when she disguises herself as somebody else to try to help the the team of supervillains kidnap Bruce Wayne, I mean, it's obvious they're the same person. I mean, and Batman gets like a hundred clues about it, and he still can't figure it out. It's like what? <laughs> Other stuff. I actually really like the plot of how they're like taking the like the world leaders, the united leaders of the world, or whatever, and and, and like atomizing them or whatever into dust, and they're like scooping them up into trays. I love that, and I also love the the, the jokes of like. Of like Robin is like a Batman. 
maybe we should fiddle with them just a little bit before we, uh, you know, reconstitutionalize them, turn them back to normal or whatever. Uh, maybe we should fiddle with them just a little bit, their DNA makeup or whatever, and make them, maybe help make the world a better place. And Batman's like, no, Robin, we mustn't. <laughs> or he's like, um, even that, we we can't do, Robin. He says something like, Adam West is, delivers the lines much better. You watch the movie. If you haven't seen it, watch it. Pretty much the plot of the movie, though, is that Penguin and everybody is teamed up together. Uh, all the supervillains, Penguin, Joker, Riddler, um, Catwoman, they've all teamed up together. <clears throat> and they want to... Uh, basically take all the united leaders or whatever and uh, use this uh, this ray gun that they got and turn them basically into like powder and put them in these little vials it's like a disintegrator ray and a uh, like a it disintegrates them and then it reintegrates them or whatever it, uh, it atomizes them basically uh, i guess is what it is in the dust it's been a while since i've seen the movie like i said my other review was much more in-depth because i did it right after i saw the movie so this is a little bit after so i'm just trying to go by memory here but the ray gun or whatever pretty much is like deconstitutionalizes them or whatever or however you say it just turns them into dust and then uh i guess it sucks sucks out like all the moisture from their bodies and just turns them into like powder and then it uh and then you can put it in reverse and then bring them back to normal which is, uh, I like that. Basically, they got the world leaders, <clears throat> and they want to, I can't remember even the movie if it was they wanted to ransom them, or, uh, <clears throat> or if it was they wanted to actually fiddle with them and make them into, like, their pawns or whatever. I think it was they wanted to ransom them or do something with them, or they wanted to get rid of them so they could take over. It was something like that. Once again, you got to forgive me because I've already done this review, and I, I didn't want to rewatch the movie again. I just wanted to jump into it. So I know this review isn't as good, probably, as my other ones, but I still remember how much I enjoyed the movie and the star rating that I gave it. Once again, it's three stars. I think this is definitely a good movie, and it's it's enjoyable. It is. I think it's an enjoyable movie. It's really funny, really funny shit in this movie. Um, Alfred, I think he's kind of useless in the movie. He doesn't really do much. Uh, the Batmobile, though, I think is complete badass. I love the Batmobile in this. I like the look of it, yes. I actually like the look of this Batmobile better than the one from the Christopher Nolan movies. Um, <laughs> I do. But, uh, <clears throat> pretty much all in all, at the end, Batman and Robin save the day. They're fighting all the villains on top of this, like, submarine or whatever. Um, and they're beating the shit out of all of them. Every, of course, every time Batman and Robin hits somebody, you know, shit pops up and says, pow. You know, it's great stuff like that. It really makes you feel like you're in a comic book. <clears throat> I love that. You know, for a kid's TV show, campy version of Batman, this is good. It is. It's good. For the campy version of Batman, this is a good movie and very enjoyable. And uh, definitely better than Batman and Robin. I also think it's better than Batman Forever. And, uh, yeah, it's really worth checking out. So just to conclude my Batman franchise reviews, I love Batman. He's a great character. Also, just to put this out there, if you haven't seen uh, some of the animated films that DC has done, their animated films, most of them are excellent, especially the Batman ones. Uh, Dark Knight Returns, you know, 1 and 2. Uh, those are those are great. Uh, those are wonderful. Um, even Flashpoint Paradox, which has, like, an alternate version of Batman where Batman is, like, Bruce Wayne's dad instead of Bruce Wayne. That's great. Um, Batman Year One, I didn't really love too much because Batman was more like a side character in that, and all the good story kind of went to Commissioner Gordon. But I did like the movie, but just for Commissioner Gordon, really. Um, <clears throat> but but yeah, that's all great stuff. Batman's a great hero. I can't wait to see Batman versus Superman. See Batman kick Superman's ass. <laughs> So that's who I'm rooting for is Batman. But I will say I am a big Superman fan too. But out of those two though, I I, I gotta go with my boy Batman on that one. But uh, yeah. And I actually I think Ben Affleck looks great in the previews of the Batman vs. Superman movie. I think he looks like he's gonna do a good job playing Batman. At least Batman wise, he's gonna do great in terms of that. I don't know about his Bruce Wayne yet, I haven't seen enough of him, but in terms of Batman, he looks jacked up and awesome. He definitely reminds me of a more comic bookish Arkham Asylum type Batman. Like a really darker, more broody version of Batman. Pretty much the Frank Miller version. But maybe not as like psychotic as that. But more but more in that vein. Uh, but yeah, <clears throat> I think he looks great. Uh, Look-wise and acting-wise, he looks great. And the movie, the movie looks like it's going to be much better than Man of Steel. Even though I didn't hate Man of Steel. But I will admit, Man of Steel is just simply a popcorn film. Whereas Batman vs. Superman looks like he'll still you know, have that popcorn element to it. But it looks like it'll have a much better story. And a more like evenly flowing plot <clears throat> but uh or a more evenly flowing story i mean but yeah it looks it looks good batman vs superman looks really good um so yeah 
uh, once again, I'd rate Adam West Batman movie um, from 1966, I believe. It was either 66 or 67. Uh, shit, it may have been 68. I don't know, but I'm pretty much betting my money on 66. But yeah, in terms of the Adam West Batman movie, I'd once again, I'd give it three stars. This is a good movie, and I do think any Batman fan should definitely check this movie out. I also like the TV series, too. So yeah, um, I'll see you guys in my next review, which will probably be the film Unfriended, which I've seen recently. I wasn't sure what my next review was going to be because Wes Craven recently passed away not too long ago, and I really want to do a review for a lot of Wes... I, I mean, I want to do a lot of Wes Craven movie reviews because he's one of my favorite directors. Um, but before I get into his stuff, though, I kind of want to wait on that a little bit because I'm going to try to do like every film the guy's done, um, or at least every film of his that I can personally you know, see or find on the web and you know everywhere else. But um, but yeah, just in terms of uh, what my next review would be, though, it, it'll be unfriended. But yeah, and for this one, though, three stars, good movie. Definitely check it out. I'll see you guys again with my review for Unfriended.